Reading, once a day pill to prevent HIV. Queensland has experienced a significant increase in HIV notifications during the past year. Although the statistics are described as alarming, they have not yet been confirmed. In fact, it is difficult to know what has caused the increase. More testing of people at a high risk of HIV may have resulted in a higher number of positive results. There are several reasons why the rates may have risen. More people who were of high risk of HIV have been tested recently. Added to this, Queensland started to offer free rapid HIV tests with results known within 30 minutes. This resulted in 93 people diagnosed this year up 34% on the same period 12 months ago. Most new HIV notifications are among Australian-born men who have sex with other men. The Queensland AIDS Council is concerned that the safe sex message is no longer effective. They claim that gay men are ignoring the importance of the safe sex message and may not see the message as relevant. In the past decade, the rate of HIV has doubled in Queensland. Three quarters of people diagnosed with HIV are men who sleep with other men. Nine percent of all gay men in Queensland are HIV positive. Unfortunately, more and more men report that they do not use condoms during casual encounters. HIV testing and early treatment are the cornerstones of therapy as they can lessen the risk of passing on the virus. Trials have begun in Australia of a pre-exposure prophylaxis or PrEP treatment. The treatment consists of taking a single tablet called Torvada. Torvada is a combination of two HIV medications called Tinofovir and Imtricitabine. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention has recommended the use of Torvada since becoming aware of the first positive trial results. The treatment must be used in conjunction with safe sex counseling, advice on prevention methods and treatment for STIs. It is reserved for people who are at substantial risk of acquiring HIV. It is also an option for high-risk groups who refuse to use condoms. Groups of people who participate in high-risk sexual behaviors often refuse to use condoms. In the USA, the group includes young, inner-city black men who have sex with men, as well as all intravenous drug users. Also included in this group are heterosexual men who have multiple partners who often do not insist on using condoms. Most people in this group are unaware of public health messages about safe sex or the availability of pre-exposure prophylaxis.